everybody. Welcome to the Courtney Branch Vancouver Island Regional Library. It's Ruffalo and you, we're going to take you on a tour. So this big, beautiful building was built to look like a creamery that was built here 120 years ago. Creameries are where farmers bring the milk from their cows and it's turned into either cheese or butter. This creamery happened to make butter. So I like to think that people used to walk out of this building with their arms full of butter, and now they walk out with their arms full of books. So, before we go inside, where nobody has been for seven whole months because of COVID, except for the 10 staff who work here, and you guys get to come inside. So, before we go inside, we should return our books in the book slot. All right, Ruffalo, here we are at the book slot. I see one says close, one says open. We'll go to the open one and return our books before we go inside. I wonder what they land on. I wonder if they land on a pillow, do they land on the floor? I'm not sure. You guys get to find out. Two, three, and four. There we go, safely inside. Let's go inside and see where they went. So there we go, that's where the books go. When you put them through the book slot, they land in these big yellow bins and then we don't touch them for two days. So because of the COVID virus, we want to quarantine them, it's called. So we're not going to touch them for two days. And after two days, two things are going to happen in this back workroom where nobody is allowed, except you guys on school tour. So we take the books, we scan them, we check them in, and they either go on the book cart and back on the shelf, or the computer tells us that somebody at one of our other branches wants the book. So we box them up and send them on their way. All right, hi everyone. Here we are in the children's section of the library. Gruffalo's happy, aren't you Gruffalo? The children's section is the best. And all you have to remember about using the library and taking out the items in the children's section are three things. You just have to have a library card, you have to take care of the items when you take them out, and you have to return the items, hopefully on time, but there are no late fees for junior items, so that's great. And guess how many items you're allowed to take out at any one time? I'll give you a few seconds, and maybe some of you know, because you've used the library before. It is 100 items. Isn't that amazing? We can take out 100 items. You can do that today if you want. Okay. Now, why do I say items and not just books? It's because we have so many different things that you can borrow. And in all of our 39 branches, we have over a million items that you can borrow. You can borrow them from any of our branches, not just what you see here at this branch. So let's go see what's inside the children's area. All right, Gruffalo, here we are in the audio-visual section of the children's area. This is a fun area. There's movies, TV shows, music, books on CD, and things are arranged a little bit differently. You probably know that a lot of books are organized by the author's last name in alphabetical order. DVDs are a little different. They're organized by alphabetical, by their title, so the name of the movie and the name of the TV show. So the TV shows are here. And we have everything from Caillou that starts with a C, and everything down to Z Zombies 2. So then we have, there's the TV, then we have the movies, everything from A to Z by title, and we're going to head into the books now. Follow me. All right, Gruffalo, here we are. We went around the corner from the audio-visual, and we found ourselves in the non-fiction section and the seasonal books. So the seasonal books are everything from Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. I see the Halloween section back there is pretty light, of course. Most people have those books out right now. But here's um, a whole bunch of Christmas books, all different levels, picture books, chapter books, board books, everything, even CDs, DVDs, books on tapes, all those different items we talked about earlier. And then we're getting into the nonfiction. 
Nonfiction isn't organized alphabetically by author either. They're organized by topic. I like to think of it like the grocery store. Things are organized by vegetables, fruits, cereals. Well, just like the nonfiction section, organized by different topics. For example, pets. Here's the pet section. And Gruffalo, do you want to choose one? All right, what has he got here? Elephants. So wild animals, music, space, all sorts of different topics. Nonfiction is awesome. So in the children's area, we also have lots of different languages, not just English. And our biggest section is French. And in the French section, as you can see, again, every kind of item, CDs, books on tape, picture books, chapter books, nonfiction, all in French. This whole shelf is French. We also carry a little bit of German and other languages too. Korean, Spanish, Punjabi, Arab, lots of different languages. Hey Gruffalo, here we are in the picture book section. Yay! It's my favorite section. This section is great for all ages. Even adults love to come here and sit and look at these beautiful books. These ones are arranged really easy by author. They have the letter of the author's first name right on the spine. You can see them really easily from A all the way to Z. And by far, this section is the biggest in the children's area. And look at here, we've even got some ones, especially for fall, apples, golden leaves, mud puddles. There are picture books about everything. They're wonderful. Okay, Gruffalo, yet another part of the children's area, the juvenile starters and the juvenile fiction. All of the books in the children's area have a J on them for juvenile, and that lets us know to never charge you late fees, and that everything in this section is appropriate for if you're sort of 12 and under. Uh, so the juvenile starters have numbers on the spine, nice handy numbers, from levels one to levels two. There's two, level, and there's level three, and a few level fours. So just learning to read, like you probably are, Gruffalo, right? You're just learning to read. So you probably take a level one if you're just starting to learn words. Then as you get better and better, up to about age seven, you can jump over to the juvenile fiction. Um, juvenile fiction has everything, again, if you're reading even five years old, all the way up to 12 years old. So we have everything with lots of pictures like Mercy Watson. Everybody probably knows that one. Lots of pictures, not too many words, really fun to read. So probably if you're six or seven years old, all the way up to things like Harry Potter and big, huge chapter books with not very many pictures at all. So a lot of variety in the juvenile fiction. This is a great section, super fun. So here we are at the hold shelf, everybody. So up until now, we've had what's called takeout service. And that means you've been ordering your books online through our website. And then when they're ready, we send you a notification and we come and get them for you. You come to the door, we grab them, they're organized under your last name. We get them for you, we check them out for you. But pretty soon, any day now, and in fact, so soon that maybe by the time you're watching this video, you will be able to come in and use our self-checkout machine to check out your own holds. So you'll come in, get your books, and check them out. I'm going to check out the books that I got from the children's section. Gruffalo, can I have the card? Thank you very much. All right. Our self-checkout machines are touchless. All you have to do is touch your library card, slide it under the laser, and you touch your own books. You don't have to touch the self-checkout machine at all. Go, slide them under. When you hear the beep, you know you've done it right. And then you don't touch anything. You just have to wait and the receipt is going to come up right there. All right, you have to be a bit patient. It takes a little while. And the screen is telling me your receipt will print automatically. Please wait. Okay, be patient, Ruffalo, be patient. There it comes touch my receipt and my books, and I'm ready to go. 
So we can't wait to see you guys in here in person. We miss you like crazy. There's been nobody in here for seven full months. So we're dying to see you. Uh, please keep checking our website and check out the Courtney branch, Vancouver Island Regional Library branches Courtney to find out when we're open and to find out all the latest news about the branch. Or you can check our Facebook page, VI Regional Library Courtney, for all the latest updates and when you can come in. Can't wait to see you. Bye for now.